All right. So for some reason, the uh, hairdresser made my head look like an egg. So <laughs> that's great. So before we get into this video, what I want you guys to do is down in the comment section below, uh, <laughs> give your opinion on my haircut. Now, it's not the best haircut I've ever had in the world. It is pretty shit. And I want you guys to roast me uh, down in the comment section below. So your comments will be read out in another video because uh, this haircut oh it was it was not worth uh 28 bucks okay 28 dollars down the shithole but today ladies and gentlemen uh we're gonna be talking about something um original oh wh what is this wilbo has original content oh oh shit oh Today, we're gonna be uh, not talking about any YouTube beef or any pedophiles in Minecraft or, or any crazy shit like that. We're gonna be talking about something uh, that, that is kind of a bit close to home and it's about two things. The first thing is Grand Theft Auto and the second thing is uh, Australia. And so I was on Facebook the other day and I came across a buddy of mine sharing a, a video link that was about Grand Theft Auto Australia. So it was like the Australian version of Grand Theft Auto and it's on like Seven News, which is one of like the big three main news channels you see on a day-to-day -day basis in Australia. And pretty much it's a video of them talking a little bit of shit about uh, someone who modded GTA 5 on like PC to make the cars look like the official Australian police cars. And also like tampering with the skins that they use so it's gonna to be like bogans and Australian people and possibly kangaroos um, may maybe koalas if you're lucky so what I'm gonna be doing today is just uh, ranting and raving about why these news reporters are so wrong with what they're saying so before we get into the video I want to show you guys the description of this Facebook link so it reads there's anger this morning over black market versions of the popular game Grand Theft Auto the hack allows gamers to attack NSW, which means like New South Wales. So that's like close to where I kind of live. Maybe it's a few hours away. Police are planning action against the game designers. So, um, uh, this triggered the, uh, the Australian police. They don't like it. Okay. That they think, Oh, that that's fucking racist because, um, I mean, we're using racist out of context here. Uh, isn't that what 2017 is about? So let's, uh, let's give this video a watch, shall we? Now there's anger this morning over a black market version of the popular video game, Grand Theft Auto. Seven News has revealed hackers have created a variation which lets gamers attack New South Wales police. First things first, they said hackers, okay? <sighs> Fuck. So when you hack something, uh, you're getting into something that's private. Yeah, something you shouldn't be into. Making your own GTA 5 map isn't hacking. It's just creating it and making your own skins, okay? So they're not hackers. They're probably like you and me sitting down at a computer and just making a little bit of shits and gigs on GTA 5 and going, you know what? Uh, Australian police, that would be hilarious. I think it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Like putting some Australian police shit in, in, in GTA 5, that's pretty funny. Officers are planning action against the designers of this game. All right, so they explain that, uh, you know, well, we're gonna have some action with this because this isn't on. This is un-Australian. Oh, you know, like they, they can't have this. Someone um, making a joke out of a game? Nah, no jokes? No, 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 no. Um, Susie, given this is a hack, I'd, I actually didn't know that Grand Theft Auto was still on the market. It's pretty violent itself. Oh my God. Oh, this, this bitch thinks that um, Grand Theft Auto was too violent. So, you know, they must have taken it off the shelves in every possible country because she says, um, yeah, I didn't even know it was still on the market. I thought it was pretty gruesome, you know? Bitch, she probably doesn't have kids. She probably doesn't have friends who have kids because I was playing GTA 5 at like the age of 12. So, so she's completely oblivious to what's going on. Um, can police actually really do anything about it? This is the real problem, Sam. Police seem to be completely unable to do anything. Oh, police can't do anything? Oh, I wonder why. Maybe because it's a video game? You know, I think the police have better shit to do, like, you know, catching people who do a shit ton of crazy drugs, or people who vandalize, or people who shoot each other. You know, just, just shit like that. I don't think they have time uh, to, to get their knickers in a twist about some video game that's been around for a while now. Uh, the Victorian Police Commissioner Graham Ashton has come out and said that Grand Theft Auto Generation 
that's his term, is responsible for 8% increases in youth violence year on year. Oh, oh, they're pulling this card. So if you play a video game that's violent, Oh, you're gonna go out and kill people. I've been playing Call of Duty for a while now, and uh, I don't think I've killed anyone. Uh, I used to play a lot of Grand Theft Auto. I've played all the Grand Theft Autos, and have I gone out and gone, you know what, uh, you fucking hooker, bap bap, you're dead? No, can't believe they're pulling the, because my kid plays violent games, he's gonna go and kill someone card. Like, come on, man, it's 2017. And what we're seeing is a generation of kids who are socially isolated. They're playing these games for 10, 10, 15 hours a day, and what they see is there's no reset button on reality and the games that they're playing have huge amounts of violence and, and there's absolutely no consequences. Apparently, um, we as kids, because technically I'm still a kid, I'm only like 17, play video games 10 to 15 hours a day, even knowing that there's only 24 hours in a day and maybe about 5 to 7 of those hours uh, when you're in school. So that would mean I would only get two hours of sleep. Why? And I honestly have to say to parents, if you've got young teenagers who are socially isolated, have a violent sort of background, and they're playing these games for hours and hours a day, you've got to get your head red. Get them off these games. Oh. So if you've been in a fight at school and you're playing Grand Theft Auto, make sure you stop playing the game because next time you get in a fight, you might bap him in the head, they might kill someone, or they might throw you out of an aeroplane, or they'll do some crazy drugs like in Grand Theft Auto because it's bound to happen. I've read a lot of research on this over 20 years and I'm interested in Graham Ashton's findings about the increase in, uh, in youth violence associated with these games because general researchers found that's not necessarily the case. This sort of violence doesn't always cause the violence but it can add to people who are already of a violent nature. See, this man, his name's like Graham or some shit, he's right. He says, you know what, these games, they don't cause the violence, but they may lead into the violence, okay? I understand understand that bit, okay, I'm not gonna be like one-sided here. I understand that this could lead in to, to, to shooting someone in the head, to, to get some hookers or some shit, but, but they don't cause violence, okay? These, these, these two girls right here, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't have any kids. Uh, what I think it does more than anything else is it breaks down any respect for authority, and I think that goes to the very fabric of our society. So even if it doesn't actually increase the amount of youth violence, I think this certainly does uh, reduce the amount of respect respect we have for people like police and I think that's an important part of our society something mm. that we have to maintain yeah I don't agree with these two ladies talking about you know what our Grand Theft Auto should be off the shelves because it's a bad game you're killing people you, you're hiring hookers you're doing all this shit um, but my boy Graham over here he knows what's up okay now he's what I like to call the sitting on the fence type of guy you know yes it's bad okay yes it is a very violent game but it won't lead in to you going to kill someone. His point is, it's very disrespectful to the police. But here's where I come in. If it was that disrespectful to the police, and if it was that damaging to the Australian police, they would have done something by now. But uh, their response to that was, uh, sorry, we got real life shit to do. You know, someone's just killed someone, or someone has just smuggled a shit ton of drugs into Australia, and we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix that. But, but, but Seven News, they go, you know what? No, my kids are playing these games. Are they gonna be a drug addict? Are they gonna kill a hooker? What do I do? Like seriously, they must not have any kids because I can tell because their knowledge of this game is stupid. They, they called the people who redesign the cars and the skins hackers this ain't no like hollywood movie bullshit there's probably some guy still living with his mum who's just altering all these skins and all these cars and shit you know it's not someone who's like an international drug dealer or some shit like that no it's just some guy after this video you can see like a story where it goes a little bit more in depth about the whole situation and i'm just gonna read out a few parts of that website link that really just catch my eye and uh, and are just stupid. This game depicts New South Wales police as you've never seen them before. Crashing cars, shooting suspects, getting run over, and some scenes are very disturbing. It's a game, okay? There's more gruesome and disturbing games than this. I mean, Australia, remember that time you um banned most of the cutscenes from that South Park game? I tried playing that game, but the thing with that is, I'm missing out on maybe about 
half of the cutscenes because of the fact you think it's too gruesome. You think it's disturbing to my children. Let me play the game. All right, now I see why they're all skeptical with the fact of this, this mod. Now we got a little bit of a story right here and it goes, in 2001, New South Wales Police Senior Constable Jim Alflick was run over and killed by a man reenacting a PlayStation video game called Need for Speed. I understand that. I understand that a lot. But Need for Speed and Grand Theft Auto is completely different. Need for Speed, you zoom in around a track, okay? Like, well, that's not really gory, but Grand Theft Auto, I understand. So they're pulling shit out from probably about 16 years ago uh, for their evidence. But the funny thing is, police don't give a shit. They, they don't go, you know what? Um, I'm going to take time out of my day to get to the bottom of this because this is disgraceful. No, they don't. They don't even give this case to the shitty police officers because they don't have time for it either. Seven news. Okay, you got to calm down. You're trying to manipulate us, uh, either it be kids or parents, into thinking that this game is is hell in a video game. It's not. It's just a game we like to play. You know, I'll, I'll play a little bit of GTA to get those flying card cheats and those flying person cheats so I can get from A to B very quick. I'm not going to download some Australian police skins so I can be a policeman and go and kill everyone. All right, seven news. Um, you're over exaggerating. If you're talking about a game that I think is about four years old now in 2017 um, You might as well not be a news channel because news means new and this shit ain't new, okay? But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video um, These type of videos I really want to start doing more It's where I take something random and just talk about it Give my views on it and give a little bit of a rant and clickbait the shit out of it So hopefully you enjoyed that video if you did be sure to smash the like on it shows you guys really supported the video uh, if you're new around here why not subscribe because if you subscribe then it makes it a whole lot easier for us to come together and uh, download these skins so we can play as an Australian police officer in GTA 5 and uh, comment down in the comment section below uh, what what do you think about this and remember uh, you got to roast me because if you don't roast me I can't make a video with your guys's comments about my egghead but that's gonna be today's video guys I'm gonna be seeing you in the next one peace out and goodbye Egghead!